About 65 million years ago, reptiles ruled the earth until a large meteor hit, and the majority of them died. <laughs> when the meteor hit, it put up a lot of dust in the atmosphere and blocked out the sun. Plants began to die out because of the lack of sunlight, and the herbivores soon died along with them for lack of food. Then the carnivores died out because of the same reasons. The herbivores were their prey. After the meteor hit, all that was left were the smaller animals, mammals. This was the start of the Cenozoic Era, or the quote-unquote Era of Recent Life. Their development and specialization took four principal directions. Number one. Increase in size. Number two. <laughs> Increase in brain capacity. Number three. Um, specialization of teeth to better accommodate a particular diet. Number four. Specialization of limbs to better equip the animal for a life in a particular environment. Yay, I can, I can count. Mammals began to grow very large, like this squirrel, until they began to die out. In North America, many ant mammals became extinct for unknown reasons known to scientists. One idea is humans. Okay. The Cenozoic era does represent a much smaller fraction of the geologic time scale, but it does include many other things, including the development of humans. Here we are with Gemini Frinkelbell of Channel 94, live, boring, unneeded news. So what do you know about the idea of the influence humans had on the mass extinction of animals in the Americas. Why would I know about that? I'm not even human. I'm a news reporter. I don't even have a brain. Well, let's ask this random person. Excuse me, do you know about the idea of human influence on the mass extinction of large animals in the Americas? Why, yes. The idea was that humans wiped them out by hunting them in large groups. After the other large animals were extinct, humans took over our world.